Corn is one of the most popular foodstuffs in the world. We eat cornflakes for breakfast, have corn on the cob with our dinner, and ruin films by noisily chomping our way through boxes of popcorn at the cinema. But this is the story of how sweet corn gets from the field to the can. Combine harvesters plow through these fields all day long. They cut the stems just above the ground, and then the cobs are removed and shot into a hopper. Once the hopper's full, the mass of corn gets transferred to a truck that goes straight off to the factory so the corn can be processed. The trucks dump mountains of corn onto the courtyard, and then plows push the cobs onto the conveyor belts. At the end of the belt, the cobs plunge down into a machine. They're then pulled through by a series of wheels which grip the leaves and tear them away. As the cobs cruise past, workers pick out any that are rotten, and for them, the game is up. They'll be turned into pet food. This machine uses a light sensor to check that the cobs are all facing in the same direction. If any are back to front, a lever gives them a nudge to spin them around. And now it's time for them to go from corn on the cob to corn off the cob. They're pushed through spinning knives that adjust to fit the size of each individual cob. These strip off the pieces of corn. Millions of corn niblets move along the conveyor belt like a river of gold. After a season in the fields, the corn needs to be washed. While they're taking a dip, any hollow pieces rise to the top, and these will be discarded. Now that it's clean, the corn gets sifted. Only bits of corn will make it through the holes. Anything that's bigger, like bits of leaf, will stay on top. Here, a special camera finds bad bits of corn as they shoot across its path. When it finds them, it blows them away with a jet of air. With only the very finest corn left, it's ready to be canned. A little salt and water is added to preserve the flavor of the corn. Then this machine loads each can with exactly 140 grams. A camera makes sure that each can has exactly the right amount. The lids need to be put on the cans in a vacuum so that no air gets sealed in. That happens in this chamber. There's one more step to ensure that the corn will last. The cans go into this machine that is like a giant boiling pot, and for six minutes they get heated from 25 to 130 degrees. This sterilizes the cans so it will keep the corn fresh for years. 20 minutes of gradual cooling and the best before date can be added. Finally, the cans are stacked and taken to the warehouse. Over two million cans are produced in just two months. They'll be labeled later and shipped all over Europe. The next time you open a tin of sweet corn, just remember that you're about to dig into the very finest niblets that have made it through a rigorous inspection and spare a thought for the lowly corns, which are only good enough for dog food. <laughs>